Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look at the Fa Faerun collection? Faerun? Fa Fa Faerun? Uh, this, this, this game. Um, Faerun collection. I'm gonna take a first look at the, the Faerun collection. Or however you pronounce it. Um, kinda wish I'd titled this series First Look instead of First Thoughts, because that's much easier to fit into a sentence, but... Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, uh, time to look at this game, or series, or collection of games. Um, this was recommended to me by a certain cute gay mouse, you know who you are. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I believe it's a set of games inspired by the traditional top-down 2D Zeldas, which is great because I love those games. Um, beyond that, I don't know, so let's have a look. Uh, it was quite affordable, it was on a discount, but I think that's already expired by now, unfortunately. I should have made a video quicker, but I didn't. Okay, so we've got, uh, Faerun, or F Faerun, or F whatever it is, and the sequel, and Origin, and something that's locked. I guess we unlock that by playing the other games in the set. There's some achievements here for each of the four games. World rankings for each of the games, I, I guess. Some little fairies there. It's, it's, um... For Roar and Din and Nehru. Okay, so it's like time trials and stuff. You can change the language. Uh, I don't know what any of these other ones are, but they exist. <laughs> Let's have a look at the first game, I suppose. I'm going to call it Faerun, I guess. Faerun. Uh, continue. I don't have any saves yet, so I can't continue. Collections. Uh, I don't know what that means yet. But I guess I'll see. New game. Data 1. Open manual now. Can be referred to any time. Have a look. Faerun is a puzzle adventure RPG. Search the map for items that will help you solve puzzles to proceed in the story. Okay. Um, B to cancel. AXY for items. Move select with the D-pad or the left stick. Item or confirm on the L button. Okay. Uh, protagonist. The character you hit control of. Levels and XP. The XP gauge increases each time a monster is defeated. Once the gauge is full, you gain a level. Life. Hit points. Game over if hit points reach zero. Items. This is your inventory. Press A, X, Y, L to use items. Healing point. Using mana fragment or mysterious grass recovers your hit points. World map. Shows where the protagonist is and areas covered so far. Hint. Use the sword of hope and bump into monsters to fight them. Weak monsters can be defeated without receiving any damage, but no EXP will be gained. Monsters are the same strength. You will receive some damage, you also receive EXP. Strong monsters, they are impossible to beat, may also cause great pain. Recommended monsters, the ancient codex will let you know. Study the map. Look at the map carefully and you may find areas that look a little suspicious. This will help you solve puzzles when you are stuck. Use your items. Try various items in different places. Something may happen or you may gain a new item from it. Okay, so... Greetings. I am the Ancient Codex. Might I entrust you to do a small job for me? Ah, hmm. <laughs> First, welcome to Faerun, where illusion is reality. Three spirit icons once sealed an evil spirit at the center of the realm. But one day, the spirit icons disappeared and strange events began to occur. In the blink of an eye, our world was overrun by monsters. Ahem. <laughs> It's been quite dangerous, with monsters and such running amok. But don't fret. This is kind of a cu customer around these parts. It occurs every few hundred years. So, with that said... Ahem! O oh, Chosen One, seek out the three missing spirit icons, and seal off the scourge once more. Ahem! <laughs> Can we count on you? Alright. Even monsters won't harm girls in cute dresses. That's good. Good thing I'm wearing a cute dress. <laughs> Take some time to explore your surroundings. Okay, so it's a bit Zelda-y. Interesting. Okay, so uh, I just pressed A. That gives me the menu over there. Uh, I can press start to get options. Scale normal. Large normal. BGM, SE, sound effects, time off. It's probably fine. I guess I'll head south. I can hear some monsters. I don't have any weapons, though. Uh, all I have is the book. Okay, I got stuck when that little slime thing walked on me. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not taking any damage, but I am getting kicked backwards. Hmm. I assume I need to find a sword of some kind. I mean, I saw one there, but I couldn't get it. What's down here? A dark, spooky cave. Can't go anywhere, though. Hmm. What does this say? Uh, how do I read it? Um... AXY item will confirm, yeah? So I wanna... Read. Yeah, that's the thing I already heard about the codex. I don't know how to read that. I don't think I can. Maybe I can push it? Doesn't look like it. Hmm... Um, the control is completely digital, by the way. You can use the analog, but there's not much point. Um, because it's just grid-based. You'll need a piece of mana to recover your life bar. Hey, they're in the distance. Could it be? Okay, so that's a piece of mana. But I can't reach it. I need to be able to move these rocks. Okay, so there's lots of monsters everywhere. Thankfully, they're not doing any damage yet, which is good because I can't hurt them either. The music's nice. I think they head further south? I don't know. It's a bit of one of those where do I go kind of games at the beginning by the looks of things. Kind of like Anodyne, which I played a little while back, which had, I think, similar problems. Can't get through there. Um, I'm guessing if I press that, like, switch over there, it'll make this go down, but I can't reach the switch yet either, so... Hmm... Okay, let's... Hang on. Let's check, check on this screen. You can see that there's a square I haven't filled in down here. Okay, nothing there. Hang on, what's that? I got something. Got red gem! What's it do? This item won't work here. Okay. It doesn't do anything yet. Uh, can I use it on, on these, uh, these vines, maybe? Okay, girls in cute dresses. Nope. I thought the vines, maybe, because they have little red spikes on them, that might be how you get rid of them, but it's not. Oh my god. <laughs> um... I think I can go this way. Oh. Please get out of my way. Thank you. Okay, no, I can't go that way either. Um... Maybe I need to go back down into that cave with the stairs? Because that seems to be the only path that's open to me. Hmm... I wonder if this is, this is like, semi-randomized or something, or if it's just the same adventure every time. From the way it looks, I feel like it might be semi-randomized. Yeah, I can't go anywhere from here. I must need a source of light. Does the gem help me light up? No. Uh, just... Okay, um... So yeah, like, I don't seem to be able to do anything in this cave. Um... Can't go in any direction, apart from back to the stairs. So... I'm very confused. <laughs> um... Hmm... Or maybe the gem needs to go here? Or maybe one of these other ones? Doesn't look like it. Here, maybe? No. Hmm. Yeah, this- this is a little confusing. Um, hmm... Thankfully the monsters don't hurt you, but I can't hurt them either, so... Yeah. Luckily I'm a girl in a cute dress. <laughs> Just like in real life. No, I'm, I'm wearing jeans in real life, but close enough. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to read this. 
but I don't seem to be able to. So, I don't know. And can I squeeze through there? <gasps> I can! I got the mana crystal. Got piece of mana. Can I use it? Not yet. Alright. Well, I've grabbed a bunch of stuff. Try using the piece of mana in a suspicious location. Over there, there's an odd tuft of grass. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, okay. I forgot to say, when you want to stop, be sure to press the plus button to save your game. If you forget to... Oh, I cannot even bear to say what will happen. I'll have to do some stuff again. Let's get the sword. <laughs> oh, look how happy she is. Got sword of hope. Now you're ready for battle. Anyway, ahem. Fight monsters by walking into them. Weak foes die instantly, but yield no XP. If a foe is too strong for you, no extra effort will fail it. I suggest picking foes suited to your level. Ahem. Anyhow. That's about the gist of it. The suggested monster info opened me again. Happy hunting! Going to equip the sword, or is it automatically active? Looks like it's automatically active. I am taking a bit of damage when I hit these monsters, which it did warn me about earlier, so that makes sense. Um, it said I could use the mana to heal myself, so I might use that and see if that helps. That's the right gem. No, how do I heal myself then? Hmm. You need to go to a certain spot? Oh, okay, you stand in the little tuft of grass and it heals you. Okay, that makes sense. Sort of. <laughs> I assume I want to get to, like, level 2 at least. Yeah, this is very... very uh, JRPG-esque. Sort of grindy, almost. I mean, it's not quite as bad as some JRPGs, because you're leveling up quite quickly and you have to do a full turn-based battle every time you need to do it, but still, it's similar. Level up! <laughs> okay, now I get no experience from those monsters. Like the game warned me, they're too weak for me. These ones are still strong enough to deal, deal some damage. There we go. Okay. Can I cut down the other vines using my sword? The one's down here. Oh, they also disappeared when the first set did. Okay. So I don't need to. Um... Okay, well here we go. This looks complicated. The switch! Press. Now we can get in there! Yay! Hmm, you gotta stop back and heal quite often by the looks of things. Just because the monsters respawn constantly. And if you're touching them to get experience, which you should be because you want experience, your life's gonna go down very quickly. Uh, anyway, let's go heal up. There we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, what have we got here? Um, we got me taking more damage than I would like to take. That's something. Um. Oh no, I'm dead! What happens? Do I respawn? Game saved. In this world, there are no big penalties upon dying. However, you will have to do some backtracking. 
Okay, well, I'm in this little, uh, death world, or whatever. So let's just walk around in a circle here, and... Okay, so this is my respawn point. Okay, that makes sense. At least I'll just redo what I just did. I will level up shortly, which is good. There we go, level three. So not strong enough for these guys, but that's okay. I'll still survive this much better, because I have more health. Is there anything over here? Is there a reason to come over here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Can I interact with these things? It doesn't look like it. Red gem? No. Mana? No. Uh, sword? No. Book? Your suggested monster is now fungus. Okay, I see. So it wants me to kill the fungi because they have the right amount of uh, damage genus or whatever. Oh, the world map wraps around. Okay, that makes sense. I guess I should keep my eye out for other tufts of grass that I can turn into healing points so I can heal more often. Because that'd be good. I do need to heal, so, um, hmm. That rock looks suspicious. Can I do something with it? Apparently not. Okay, it's worth a try. Okay, I can't kill those bees at all, so I gotta watch out. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Game saved. At least you don't like lose experience on dying or anything, because that would be really obnoxious. Okay, let's get back into the, the hedge maze again. Here we go. It's not exactly a hedge maze, but it's, it's similar. <laughs> Give me that sweet, sweet experience so I can beat more monsters and stuff. Yeah, it feels like this might be sort of a randomized uh, play every time and you get a slightly different adventure sort of game. I can't tell if it is or not because I've only played once, but I get the feeling it might be that sort of game, which would be cool. Um... Okay, no, I can't beat those bees yet. I don't remember where I was when I went down in that tunnel earlier. Can I beat the bees now? Yes, let's go. Okay, that looks suspicious. Can I... Nope. There was a little crack in the ground there, right? Hmm. Poison fungus. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh wow, they do two damage each instead of one. That's not good. I can squash these now, though. I can't remember where I was in that first cave where I died. I must have been down here somewhere. Hmm. Should I go in this way, maybe? I'm not sure. No, that just leads into there, which doesn't help me. That's just how you get to the switch, which I already did. 
Hmm. Hmm. This is a little bit of a confusing title. <laughs> Give ourselves more life. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going at this point. Hmm. I think I want to go through here, but I'm just not sure where I want to go after that. way to handle monsters, like that they don't ever hurt you if you're strong enough to beat them, but you don't get experience in that case. It's quite different to most RPGs I've played. I'm sure there's something here. You can see that little crack in the ground. I must need a shovel or something, so I need to get up. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get through there. I'm confused. Um, what's it say? Yeah, I want to kill poison fungus. I haven't seen any poison fungus, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about doing that. a confusing title. Similar problems to Anodyne, really, although it doesn't have the same um, leveling up system that, that that game, that this game does, so. Can I get up through here now with my mana, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. I wish the, the hint book would tell you some actual hints as well as just which monster will give you experience and which won't. That would be handy. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm very confused as to what I should be doing at this point. Um, let's go back this way because that's where the bees are and the only things that seem to give me any experience. But I'm not sure having experience will even really help me that much. I feel like I'm probably supposed to use the red gem on one of these, but it won't let me do it, so, hmm. Also, interestingly enough, even though there's three item buttons, none of them equip items. Like, four item buttons. Yeah, there's four item buttons, but none of them equip, so they just go into the item menu. Uh, hello, that rock moves. Hello. <laughs> I did try to push it earlier, but I guess I pushed it from the wrong angle. Uh, kind of dark in here. Okay, here's some poison, poison fungi. That's what I'm talking about. Fungi whom's poisonous. I can't hurt that thing. That metal slime or whatever it is. Oh, hello. That's another one of these patches of, of um healing. Let me use my piece of mana. There we go. Boo -doo -boo -doo. Very nice. <gasps> Pickaxe. Give me that. Yeah, got pickaxe. Moment to use it on that one spot on the floor I saw earlier, with the crack in the ground or somewhere else. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, are those the same stairs? Nope. No, I'm on this side now. Okay. Uh, I probably can't destroy that tree yet, because all I have is a pickaxe, and a pickaxe is not the right type of axe for destroying a tree. But I can go this way. 
Okay, I can't kill those, whatever they are. I can kill the bees. Uh, there's a big picture of a bird on the ground. Oh, a healing spot. Peace of man are on the healing spot. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So if I heal up, if I level up once, do the bees still like do one damage or do they go all the way to doing nothing? I guess I'll find out when I level up, which will be shortly. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Push that over there, make a bridge. Very nice. I love to have a shortcut. I got some stairs here. Just lead to another part of the caves. Level up! Okay, I just squashed the uh, poison fungi now. Can I kill these things yet? Nope. Looks like it's fairly easy to avoid touching the monsters if you're a little careful about it. They don't, like, ab actively try to attack you. Which raises some questions about whether what you're doing is right, of course. <laughs> uh, Okay, the bees still do one damage, but I can get one experience from them, rather than taking two damage. So that's an improvement. Whereas those guys do two damage. Fair enough. Okay, let's take my pickaxe over to that one crack in the ground, which is this direction. It's not very far. And see if that does something. Looks like it does. Made a hole. <gasps> I got oil. Oh, I made a hole with oil in it. I see. Interesting. There's a heal point just down here, so I should hit that shortly. There we go. I'm not sure what I need oil for. Um, maybe I can burn that one tree with it? Hang on, let me just level up. I'm pretty close. Heck yeah, level six. <laughs> Bees are now harmless. Uh, these things do still do one damage. I wonder if I can get the slimes yet. Let's have a look. So, yeah, this isn't quite as zelda -y as I was expecting. There's a big focus on this leveling system, by the looks of things, and the items work very differently to Zelda as I know it. Uh, this is scary. Do I have to kill all the enemies to open this door and get the gem? Is that the idea? I'm guessing probably. Um, so I'm gonna backtrack a bit, because I'm taking a lot of damage here. <laughs> Get myself up again, there we go. I feel like this game might be like a randomised sort of, um quick adventure kind of thing, from the way, I'm, way it feels. I feel like it might randomise the overworld and let you play multiple adventures. Which would be cool. Uh, so hopefully that is how it works. Because that's the impression I'm getting. And I'd like that, if that's what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I need to get like a lamp or something to put the oil I have into. Okay, so can I use the oil to burn this tree? Let's find out. Nope. I wonder what it's for then. I'll be able to use it somewhere else, right? Another tree down here, which I also can't burn for the same reason. Hmm. 
Can I push that rock? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Well, it does look kind of suspicious, but it doesn't seem to be movable. Alrighty. So then there's this room that's just full of slimes everywhere. And I'm strong enough to take them all out now, so let's do it. And yeah, that opens the door. I had a feeling it would. So now I get another gem. Not sure what those do, but I have two of them now, so that's cool. Maybe I need to get all three and then put them into that one slot that looked like it could take red gems. Because there were three holes in that. Or three red spots, anyway. But I don't know where the third one would be. Okay, I'm, I'm strong enough to not take any damage from them now, so that's cool. Although it means I can't get any anything from them either, so that's less cool. Um, what is this jar of oil for? Ooze. Okay, I thought it was like metal slime, but that monster is actually an ooze. Nothing can stop the ooze. I'm gonna go back to this room, just kill everything again, because... Oh no, it didn't already spawn. Okay. Well, I'll kill what's there. <laughs> Would have been better if more things had respawned and I could kill them all, but it's not what happened. Bop, 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 bop. really sure where the game wants me to go next. I have this oil, but I don't think I can use it on anything. Unless I've just not found the thing I'm supposed to use it on yet, which is entirely possible. I don't know what the thing I'm supposed to use it on is. Seem to go anywhere. I can't just use the oil in here because it's a dark room, even though that would sort of make sense. Maybe I need like a lantern to put it in and then I can use it? I don't know. I don't think the darkness is really stopping me that much, so I don't think it would help too much to get a lantern anyway. Mm. Let's try heading back this way and see if I can find something that the oil might be usable on. So these stairs I haven't done anything with yet. Can I... Because there were like little torches next to the stairs and the other two sets of stairs. Maybe I can just go like... Apparently not. Okay. It's worth a try. Now uh, there's where you get the sword, which I've already done. Fuzzled again. If I knew what to do with the oil, I could do something with it, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Which is a problem. Um...
See these things? I reckon I can probably, once I get three gems, I can probably put them into those three red holes there. And something interesting might happen, but I only have two of them, so... It's not gonna happen yet. I can see another red gem over there. Can I reach it? Maybe if I walk that way? No, it doesn't look like it. How would I get over there? Do I need to be able to swim? Maybe I can push one of these? Hmm. That's very confusing. There's a whole hole with the oil in it, which I already got. I use the oil on a torch that's lit. Maybe I can get like lit oil? No, apparently not. That'd be really dangerous. Just lighting like a little tin of oil or whatever. It's not a tin, it's a, it's a glass jar bottle. But yeah, it would still be dangerous, is my point. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I can go this way and go back to these stairs, I suppose. It's interesting that you can't see the stairs from a distance, even though they have the torches on them. Like, the light only goes where you are. Hmm. Yeah, neither the pickaxe nor oil work on these little trees. And there's another one here, which I also can't do anything with. Tricky, tricky game. I feel like it should give you more direction than it does. <laughs> uh, maybe I just need to level up a bit, like go fight the users again, and then maybe I'll be able to do something, but I don't know. I need the pickaxe over here on those rocks. No. room. Besides the thing I already got, but I already got it, so no, it doesn't care. It doesn't matter. <sighs> hmm. Are there green gems as well? I haven't seen any of those. I am very confused. <laughs> hmm. Can I see a bird here on the ground? Maybe I'm meant to do something with that? I don't know what though. Hmm. I was gonna say something interesting up there, but I can't reach it at all. I can't just cut these down with the sword, can I? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Hmm. All I can think of is going down here and fighting some more oozes so I level up. But I can't see anything else to do once I've done that. And there's only a couple of oozes to fight as well. It's gonna take a while. Hmm. I 
nearly there, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go back and forth a little bit to level 8. See if that helps me at all. I don't think it will, because I don't think there's anything I was blocked from going past because of my level. But, you know, let's have a look. Nearly there. Mm, yeah, one more should do it. Sure did. Okay, now I'm level 8. And slimes are harmless to me. You know, they're called oozers, but slimes. Red slime. Okay, well I haven't seen those anywhere. is a confusing title, I must say. Is there anything up here? Like put the sword back and get, get a reward for my, my generosity or something? I don't know. <laughs> um, to get into that. Maybe there's a way that we can go around or something? I feel like there isn't. I feel like I need to get there from below somehow, but I don't know where I would do that. I guess I must be able to use the oil somehow to get across here, but I don't see how. Again, doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna switch over to Faerun 2 and see if that one's a little clearer, because hopefully it is. Um, I won't waste too much time just struggling with how to figure out this stuff. Yeah, I'll open the manual. Faerun 2 is a puzzle adventure RPG. Search the map for items to help you solve puzzles to proceed in the story. Okay, this has different buttons. Uh, let's see. A is the item confirm button, X opens the world map, Y opens the codex, B cancels. You have a mini map with ZR. Uh, you can put it on the left or the right, okay. Protagonist, level, hit points, experience, coins. This game has coins. Uh, and... The same basic system for experience and stuff like that by the looks of things. Alright. Um... Alright, so yeah, it sounds fairly similar, but we'll see how we go. Faerun, a world where imagination is reality. Co 
currently, no demon is being resurrected to threaten the world. Nor is the world going to come to an end. However, ahem, excuse my manners, I forgot to introduce myself. I am known as the Ancient Codex. Getting back to the story, the three fairies that protect Faerun have gone missing. They may have been kidnapped, or perhaps they are simply taking a nap somewhere where we cannot find them. Wherever they are, their absence is affecting this world. If I could just leave and go find them, I would. But, I'm just a book. As you can see, I cannot move since I am an object. You are moving, you're floating. You're, flo you're floating in the air. And so I implore you. Please, carry me with you. And travel the world of Faerun in search of the fairies gone missing. I won't take much of your time. It should only take a few hours of your time in your world. Are you ready? Sure. Use the left stick or d-pad to move your character. Okay, so... Visually it's fairly similar. Uh, but we have a mini-map now, which we can put on, on either side of the screen as we desire. This is a mana fragment. If you can use it, you may be able to recover your HP. Obtained mana fragment. You can now use items by pressing the A button. Made from water of life, glows softly. Okay, so this game seems to have a lot more, I guess, polish to the UI compared to the first one. We'll see how we go. Yeah, it does look fairly similar. Green fields. And the music sounds a bit similar too. It is different though. Uh, there's one of those trees I can't get rid of. There's like a green switch over there too. Okay, so I want to use the mana fragment there. Hmm? The mana fragment is reacting to something. Perhaps the grass over there? Yay! This is a bit of a clearer tutorial than in the first game, I think. Which is good. Whoa, teleporting! Is there I can jump down? I can! I can jump down ledges! Couldn't do that in the first game. Obtained Sword of Hope. It appears to me that you are now prepared. Let me explain. Ahem! Battle is done by charging into monsters. Weak monsters can be slain easily, but you will not gain any XP. Strong monsters can be defeated, but they will cause you a lot of damage. Be prepared. It is best to only fight monsters that suit your level. Ahem. Well, that's about it. Please allow me to assist you. Whenever you want to know which monsters you should fight. Good luck! Press Y to open the Ancient Codex and X to open the world map. Press ZLZR to toggle the, toggle the mini-map. Open the menu and pressing plus to access the save options. Oh! Look over there, something looks different. Coin! I love coins. What's this green thing? Obtained green orb. I wonder what that does. Oh! Oh, quicksand! Okay, these slimes are uh, doing a lot of damage. Oh no, I'm dead. That was quick. <laughs> Data saved. There are no large penalties should you fail, fall in this world. However, each time you recover, you shall return to this place. Remember that. Can I interact with that to do something? Or do I just have to walk back over to the stairs as usual? Looks like I'm on the same map as that first room, which is interesting. Beep. I think I was supposed to fall in battle, so they ended up over here. <laughs> like, they gave me deliberately two tough enemies, so that I'd respawn at the beginning. Hmm? This rock looks as if it, as if it has been dragged. This way, right? Yes, heck yeah. Chuk, 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 chuk. Mm. 
Oh, I got something. Obtained faraway memory. A small patterned black slab of stone. Looks like there are five of them because it's showing those little dots. some levels and maybe some coins. I created a monster slime. Oh cool. You can actually like look at all the monster information. Item file. Neat. I'm guessing I'm not strong enough to beat these guys yet. Ah! Yeah, I'm not. So it's showing multiple little tombstones here. Does that mean I have a limited number of retries in this one? Because there's a limited amount of space for those tombstones. now. Means I'm stronger and better and, and cuter. Oh yeah, I don't need to kill these guys anymore. But I'm getting coins, which is good. I don't know what to use the coins for yet, but you know, coins are good. I like coins. Let's go in the sand again. Boop, 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 boop. I'm probably strong enough to deal with these guys now. Yes. I'm taking damage, but I'm also getting experience, so that's okay. Okay, I can see a healing grass over there, so I want that. These little thingies gonna... Yes. Oh. Oh, they kill you. Okay, I thought it might be a portal or something. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's only room for about six of these, so I guess something different might happen when I get all six. I don't know. Music's nice. Let's fall in the sand again. Yeah, I thought the little, the little uh, quicksand spinny thingies might be warps to other areas, but they're not. They're warps to death. Which is a shame. I'm guessing those things are too strong for me to fight, so let's avoid them. There we go. Oh, that looks good. I assume I want that thing, whatever it is. Yeah, these guys are too strong. Whoa! One hit, my goodness. Okay, so there's my fourth, fourth um, tombstone. Pepperoni and cheese. That minimap is kind of annoying. I liked how the first game had room for the map just on the side instead of it covering up part of the play area. Also, there is a reason sometimes to kill monsters that are already weak in this one as well because you sometimes get coins from them, which is nice. I think it's an improvement over the first game. Even though I don't know what coins are for yet. I assume they do something good. Level 3! Okay, so I can, I can beat these sandy slimes with no problem now. Uh, let's try going... this direction? Can 
Can I beat these guys yet? Uh, yes, but I take a lot of damage in the process. Uh, I don't think I'm equipped to beat three of them. I need to level up a bit more. Why do we beat these two? Nope, nope, nope. Too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna fill that up and find out what happens when you've got all six tombstones on this screen. If anything. I assume it does something, otherwise there'd be no point, right? Can I actually get around there? Let me have a look. I can probably get past these trees now. Yep. Okay, so I can go get, go get that axe, which I assume is how you destroy the trees. The little, um, like, ones with no leaves. Obtained axe. I think that was one of those trees behind this house, right? I'm already feeling this game gives you a lot more direction than the first one, so I think that's a big improvement. It's essentially the same game overall, but uh, I think it's got a lot of improvement to it nonetheless, by the looks of things. Obtained log. Uh, alright. Okay, I can't actually get through there with the log that I have, but I've got a log, so that's cool. <laughs> Can I do anything in here yet? Maybe use this thing? Or this thing? No. Doesn't look like it. Must need something else. Well, I can cut down that tree, so let's do it. Chop it up, top. Got a log. Okay, this rock needs a push. Let's give it a push. I like how the stairs only appear once you've walked backwards. It's pretty cute. Alright, uh, I can see a whole bunch of little whirlwind thingies. What's the switch do? Freeze that guy. Uh, I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to talk to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe if I free you and then get out of your way, you might get cross the whirlwinds for me or something? Okay, if I, can get him, if I can lure him into the correct, like, hole, it looks like that'll help me. That was the wrong one. Hmm. This looks a bit confusing. I might come back to that in a bit. I should be careful. Uh... Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Hang on, there's a healing thing up here, isn't there? Or somewhere else. Somewhere around here. Further south, actually. In this room. Heck yeah! That's more like it. Let's go! Level up! Okay, I can beat these guys without dying now, so that's an improvement. So I can go back to those other ones. Once I heal up, I'll be able to defeat all of them and therefore unlock the treasure that they're guarding. 
this is this is a confusing game in some ways. I still think it's clearer than the other one though. Oh, I didn't open the door. I thought that would open the door. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Looks like there's some sort of puzzle that I have to do, but I don't know the details yet. Let's head this way. Okay, we've got two slimes. Oh, we just we just sort of looped around, I think. Yeah, we're seeing the other side of that room. Those ones that'll open this path? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe I need an item. I'm not sure. This is a confusing game. Level up! Hmm. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. What's this thing? Obtained Earthstone. Can I evolve one of my Pokemon now? Or? Well, it's not showing up in my items. Stone tablets. Okay, there's a separate section for that. Money, but I haven't seen anywhere to spend it yet. So I assume I will soon, but I haven't yet. Can I kill you yet? Yes, very easily, actually. Huh. <laughs> Cut the bees. Okay, I do take some damage from the bees, but I can defeat them, so that's okay. What's this? I feel like I need a pickaxe because there's like a hole in the floor there. Maybe I get like sand shoes or something so I don't fall down into the quicksand every time I walk in sand. Eek! Got another log! Is there anything here once I do that? Doesn't look like it. I can go over here though. No, oh, there's a reason to do that. <laughs> My health is very low. It's very scary. Okay, I'm in a different part of the sand world now. What have we got here? Do I just need to follow the path, or...? Yes. Yes, that was easy. Well, I got another tablet. So that's cool. Um... Booty booty! Okay, I'm liking this game a lot better. It seems to give you more of an idea of what you should be doing than the first one did, at least in my opinion. Uh, so that's cool. Can I... 
Yeah, plotting. <laughs> hmm. So I'm finding where to heal. <laughs> Um... Ah! That wasn't what I had in mind at all. Ah! Pretty sure I still take damage from the bees. Yeah, I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Data saved. Okay, so that's six. I feel like I should try dying one more time just to see what happens. It's quite an impressive view, isn't it? When there are so many lined up. I guess so. Does it do anything? I can see something over there. Like, there's like a doorway floating over there. So maybe I can get to that if I die seven times? Or more? I don't know. Can I, like, put a log across there as like a bridge? No. It's worth a try. Oh, another healing point. Boop. Okay, I've got a lot of sand here. Um, hmm. I can get through by going like this. <gasps> What's that? Obtained Earth Ring. Oh, you found the Earth Ring. That will allow you to walk on the Scorching Desert. Okay, yeah, I thought something like that would happen. Thought I'd get an item that did something like exactly that. That means, for example, I can walk across here. Without any problem. Yeah. However, my health is low again, so um, let's try to work on that if we can. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I felt like that was happening. Let's see what happens when you die seven times. Oh, nothing. It's just nothing happens at all. Okay. <laughs> So I should be able to just walk on this now. Yep. Easy peasy. Oddly enough, I don't think I can unequip the ring that I've got. Maybe. Doesn't look like it. So I, I can't fall in the quicksand anymore, basically. Maybe I can still fall into the little whirlpool thingies, though. I 
Actually, I kind of assume I can fall into the whirlpool thingies. Just seems like something that would happen. I can now go over here and get this. Green orb. That's two of them. Okay, I think I've had a look at this game. Um, I think I should take a look at the third one as well. Hey, I'm gonna put the logs here. Yes, I can! Check it out. That lets me get to this orb. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Make a bridge over here. Let's me get to uh, somewhere. Oh, here. Okay. Neat. Okay, so that's enough of this game for now, I think. I have a pretty good idea of what it's about. Save game, yep. Uh, let's have a look at the third game. Uh, I haven't unlocked the last one. I shouldn't have to complete all three because it's got three locks on it. But we'll have a quick look at Fey Faerun Origin and see if it's good too. Faerun Origin. Uh, new game. The fairy ceiling and the demon king have been driven away by an unknown evil. It's only a matter of time before the demon king will regain his power. I implore you, please find the four fairies scattered in the land of Faerun so they may seal in the demon king again. There's four instead of three, which is interesting. Okay, this game looks lower res than the previous ones, which is interesting. Um, I'm guessing this is like a beta game or something that they made first. Uh, I can't see an experience meter anywhere. And I started with all the items I need. Or at least with the sword. Which is interesting. So I'm not taking any damage from any of these. Or getting any experience from any of them either, for that matter. Got the axe. We'll need some logs to build that bridge. Yeah, it looks like this is this is maybe the first demo they made, and then they went on and made some full-size games out of it. It's cool that it's on here. I don't know if I'd call it, you know, a full-blown third game, judging from how big it seems to be, but it's still cool. Uh, can't do anything in there yet. But yeah, my life level isn't going down as I do stuff, so I'm not sure exactly how the balance in this particular game works. Can I cut that? Because it's a different colour? Yep, sure can. Didn't get any logs though, which is interesting. see a fairy over there. But all I have is an axe. Hmm. I need to kill everything in this room now that I have the axe. That might do something. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. This is a confusing title. Oh, I took damage. I don't know how I did that, but I took damage from something. Hmm. Going into this room healed me, apparently. Or maybe it's just that I got healed over time and I happened to do it when I was in that room, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in this one. Hmm. I can see there's a keyhole on that door, but I don't know where to get a key from. Because I've been everywhere I can think of. I can see a key over there, but I can't reach it. Okay, you can destroy the cacti, turn them into flowers, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, that got me something. What is it? Sun metal. I don't know what a sun metal does, but I have one now, so that's cool. Um, there's something that looks a bit like a metal on the floor back in this room, right? That little symbol down there. Let's try it. Oh, <gasps> made a little bridge. Thank you. You're welcome, fairy. I got a rainbow bridge. That's gay. Very sake, we're right. Okay, I can go through this way. Get another metal. 
And where do I use that metal? Let's look for another love of the place that has a little circle for using metals. Fire and wind. Hmm. Okay, so the fairy goes back to the beginning there. Looks like I might be able to finish this game in just a few minutes, like judging from how little stuff there seems to be in it. So we'll see how we go. Um... metal hiding behind that spot, but there's not that looks of things. Um, can I use a metal in this room to get myself through it? Oh, I can see a wind symbol over there, but I can't reach it. Hmm. There's no symbols in this room. Done in here. Can't see any symbols in here. Is that a spot there? Yep, there's a secret. Hello, what's this? Um, axe? No. Metal? No. Okay, well there's something there, but I can't do anything with it yet. the fairy and get some hints, or is that not a thing? Doesn't look like it. Go to you and get some hints? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Can I use these other metals in the same spot? Doesn't look like it. There's only a few screens to work with, so there's not a lot to try, is the problem. I've already got a thing on this screen, so probably not this one. Can I just like walk up here somewhere? No. So there's clearly another entrance into that room, but I can't see how to get to it. It's um here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Um... Hey, fairy, I can see you. Hmm. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, hang on, what? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's what you do. You, you go behind the pillars and then you just walk sideways. Oh my God. <laughs> Hmm. Did that wind do anything? It doesn't look like anything's changed. Maybe if I go back outside? Oh, it made these clouds. Okay. Okay, I can walk on the clouds now. And there's knights on the clouds. Hello, fire fairy. Can I, can I get to you? No, I'm still in the clouds. Just need to get back down. Well, I got a seed. Can we plant that somewhere? Have a have a seed party. I'm not sure what the point of enemies in this game is, honestly. Green fairy. Thank you! You're welcome, Green Fairy. <gasps> Some more clouds, let's go. <gasps> the key! <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the impression this game's gonna be short because I'm halfway through it, in theory. Gotta walk all the way back. Clouds appeared, which is here. Then I can go back to this screen and use this key to open the, the door that's locked with the key. Like so. Which gets me to do this area. Which has these guys in it, for some reason. Use the fire level on this platform here. Um, do I have to go back on the clouds again to get there? I, I guess? Busy work, really. But I suppose this is one of the earlier places you can reach on the cloud, so it's not too bad. Yep, there we go. Thank you! Oh, then I have to walk back off the clouds again in order to go over there. <sighs> yeah, this, this overall feels like this is the Kind of like with Celeste, where you can play the Pico 8 version, or you can play the regular game. This feels like the Pico 8 version of this game, even though it's not using Pico 8 limitations. Is that oil? No, it's an empty bottle. Neat. Uh, um, hmm. I feel like I need to plant the seed somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Can I fill the bottle with water? Nope, doesn't look like it. Do we need to stand somewhere like here to do it? No. One more fairy to go. Hmm.
Oh, I know where to plant it. It's in, in this cave here, where it's got the dark thing. It's this room. This room. This dark room. with the That's a patch of dirt, so I can plant the seed in it. Like that. Then I just need to water it. I don't know where to get water that I can actually use. Since I apparently can't just scoop it out of the river. Hmm. Maybe here? Yeah, you gotta be on the little dock. That's a little bit confusing. Okay, then I can go back here and water the plant. And it'll grow into like a beanstalk or something. Oh, into a friend! Hello! Um... What do I do with you now? Oh, you have a flower now. I just had to leave the room a few times so you can grow tall enough. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I made the, the plant sad. I'm sorry. Sad. Okay, I have the flower. Uh, can I take that to the ice cave? And yeah, it looks like the flower picture on the ground there. So. <gasps> Thank you. The time has come. The world should be engulfed in darkness. Okay, so I guess I head back to the beginning now and see where the four fairies are. And hopefully they can see all the Demon King or whatever. Oh no! Did you, did you kill all the fairies? Oh, I can pick them back up. Hang on. Okay, I have to put them in the right spots, even though I don't know what those spots are. Uh, that's green, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <gasps> you turned into a pretty tree. <gasps> and I got a pretty dress. Well, that's that whole game, I guess. That one's pretty short. Um, yeah, you have to do all three to unlock whatever that last one is. Varun Blast, maybe? Um, six minutes. Good lord. Well, I know what to do now, so it'll probably take about six minutes, but I won't do it right now. Um, I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching. That gave, gave you a bit of an idea of the Faerun games. This one I don't think is a real game. I think it's basically like having a demo version. Like like the Pico 8 Celeste you can play in Celeste if you don't want to play the full game or if you do want to play the full game in it right now. Whereas these ones do seem to be real full-blown games and they're quite good. Although a little confusing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.